All right, hey, Hades Mega here, and uh, I'm just I'm shooting a video on a package. Uh, uh, we're doing an unboxing from Hobby Link Japan. All right, so so I, uh, lately I've been getting these packages that have been like in really bad shape from Japan, specifically from Solaris Japan. All right, I'm not so I'm not gonna lie about that. I uh, I did receive an EMS package from uh, Solaris, and it came to me unharmed. All right, it was in good shape. The, um, so my my experience with the the sea shipping or the saber shipping with Solaris Japan has been like awful okay so so that's why I wanted to make this video I got another C package right here all right so so like a lot of these uh, figure stores these online figure stores they have uh, they started doing like they call they call it a bunch of different things I think Amiami calls it surface mail or something and um i think hobby link japan i think calls it economy shipping or something it's called it some people call it economy shipping some shops call it economy shipping some shops call it saver shipping some call it so call it surface mail all right it's it's the 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 cheap shipping all right <laughs> that's what i would call it all right the most inexpensive shipping and uh and typically i think what happens i'm not 100 percent on how it works but um when they ship they package it you know hobby link japan pop packages it all right and then they give it to a shipper or something that put they put it on a ship all right a container ship or something and then it takes months for it to get to you uh specifically uh it takes it takes about three months for it to get to where i live in san jose california united states okay <laughs> um which is funny, which is really funny. I, I want to talk about like where this package has been in a minute, all right? So, but anyway, yeah, typically they put it on a ship and then the ship goes out to sea and then when it gets to your port, you get the package, all right? So, and it typically takes about three months. That, that's what Hayes and Mega's experience has been, all right? When Hayes and Mega's first started collecting figures, it wasn't like this, all right? And the shipping wasn't like, really expensive all right the shipping is just ridiculously expensive and because of covid we can't they, they don't have certain services that are more economical okay so this is the most economical option is to do this c-mail thing now and it takes like freaking forever all right but by the time you get it you're just one you you probably forgot about it all right <laughs> pretty much you're like you, you kind of just think it in the back of your mind i'm supposed to be getting something but i, I don't remember <laughs> you know that type of thing all right um anyway i ordered this package from hobby link japan or i've seen this video because because like uh every time i do a c-mail or economy shipping video uh it, it it's a it ends up in disaster and as you can see here this box is still in good shape so i imagine there's nothing damaged in here all right so um i got this from hobby link japan i think hobby link japan is like the online uh Japanese online like hobby well I buy figures from them but they sell hobby stuff right um, and uh, I think they're the ones that I've been purchasing fi importing figures like and model kits like for more than like 10 years now it's ridiculous <laughs> okay before when Hayes Mega got started in figure collecting was you know I would just go to a, like a store or something or eBay and then and then just order it like that or or just pick it up at the store Nowadays, can't really do that anymore. You know, everything is all overseas, or or there's these online stores, and they they have them in America. So as much as possible, Hayes Mega would like to order stuff domestically because that way, it kind of takes it kind of takes the chances of your 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 delivery getting damaged. Also, if it's domestic, it's easier to file a claim with it. Is what I found out. All right. So um, with Solaris. Uh, I, I, I sent it to the post office and then they didn't they didn't send me anything until like never they never got back to me on it <laughs> they gave me some kind of receipt saying like they took my package and then that was it and then I came back three months later and I picked it up and I said forget this I'm just gonna keep it you know so it's, it's just like really you know you're you're at a loss if something happens to your package because they're in a different country it's, and you know, it's just, just the way the system works man it's it's messed up <laughs> that's what i want to say especially if you're doing this c-mail shipping thing all right um, but it's not all bad as you can see so we'll open this up 
And we're gonna do an unboxing. I haven't looked at what's inside, but I know there's a lot of figures inside here. I have put a big figure order in December 17th, 2021. It is now March 27th, 2022. All right, so it took, I got it yesterday, all right, 2020. Uh, um, I got it yesterday, the 26th, all right? And, uh, and I have to say, dude, yeah, it's like it was out there so long that I almost forgot about it. And yeah, so it, it took more than three months. This one took a little bit longer, you know, but it didn't come damaged like the Solaris packages. I don't know what the deal with Solaris is, but yeah, um, all their economy shipping packages come damaged. I don't know why. All right. Uh, anyway, um, so I put in this big order. It took more than four months. Uh, I looked at the, the tracking. So once it's on the ship, you can't track it anymore. Like... It just one day it's just surprise it's in America right so uh, when I looked at it and, and and I got that surprise hey it's in America it's in freaking New Jersey all right so what I don't understand is like why the ship went the opposite direction all right the ship goes the opposite direction and I don't live on the East Coast I live on the West Coast so um, so like if, if the ship just went if the ship just went east, if the ship went east, it would have been here much sooner, all right? But no, the ship went the other direction, all right? So that's, if you know your geography, Japan is closer to the west coast than it is to the east coast of the United States, all right, is what I wanna say, because you have to go past Europe and all that to get there. So that's why it took so long, all right? So it took more than three months for it to get there, I, I don't know. Um, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'll see stuff pop up in, on the east coast like new york or new jersey or something and so it's got to be so then, then that's when they give it to the post office and then they bring it in and i think for um, like four four or five days it was in customs all right i don't know what they do in customs like they just i don't know if they open it or anything but but yeah it was stuck in customs for a few days and then the post office shipped it over to the other side east coast to west coast and then it arrived in san francisco all right uh, a, a mail distribution place in san francisco and then the net i think a day or two after that it arrived in san jose and then then the mail carrier brings it and it brings it to me all right so i've kind of gone through the whole the whole process all right of, of, of how this this particular package got to me all right so that's why it takes so long <laughs> all right and uh and yeah, so we're so I'm gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna go check. Well, we're gonna look at the box, see if it's damaged. But it doesn't look like it's damaged. And um, and then we're gonna open the box and see what I got in there and Google the figures real quickly before uh, I, I, I put them in my my figure standby area. As well as there, right? All right. So let's let's go do this. Okay, here we go. So before I uh, open the box, I want to point out that this box cost me. 4,260 yen to, to ship, about 40 US dollars, which is, uh, which was, that's a pretty expensive shipping back in the days, but look at how big the box is, okay? Um, now, that's how much you would spend to, to ship like EMS for like a figure, okay? For a figure, all right? I've got like a lot of figures in here. We'll count on when I take them out, all right? This is, this is $300 worth of anime figures right here, all right, that I ordered a while back, all right? And, um, it's a good thing. It looks like the box came in good shape. All right, so let's take a look at their packaging. All right, there you go This is the hobby link Japan box hlj.co.jp. All right From hot for it stands for hobby link Japan. All right, they got their own boxes. They got their own logo on the box All right, so this side of the box I mean, let me, let's let's take a look at the sides of the box first All right, so it looks like it's got yeah, it does look like it got a little bit damaged actually right right here it looks like it got pushed in the corner, all right? Uh, maybe it looks like something pushed it in right here, all right? Let's go take a look at this side right here. Okay, this side looks pretty good. The sides the sides are buckling right here, all right? This doesn't look nearly as bad as the others. So the um, Hobby Link calls this a surface parcel is what they call it, all right? Um, it looks like it got pushed in right here too. So it looks like pretty much every corner got pushed in. All right, but it, but the integrity of the box looks okay. All right, guys. All right, if you guys are wondering where this came from, it came from Tochigi, Tochigi Sano, Japan. <laughs> okay, 
I don't. I think that's like kind of like north of Tokyo or something. I looked it up one time. All right, the bottom. Bottom looks all right. Okay, there's a little right here. Maybe like right here. A little bit of damage right here. All right. And the top. Kind of block my address there. <laughs> top looks okay. All right. Japan postage paid. There's a stamp right here. All right, let's go open it up. We'll see. Um, so, you know, judging from how the box looks like, I don't think anything got damaged, or if it did, it probably not catastrophically damaged like some of the other stuff I've gotten, all right? This is probably one of the best surface parcel deliveries that I've gotten in a while. I, I don't know why they all know what's, ho what's so hard about keeping the box undamaged. <laughs> I don't understand, you know? All right, I'm gonna very carefully Use the knife to cut the tape. Okay. Try not to cut myself. Wow, man, they really pack this to the gills, man. All right, let's go see what this looks like. All right, here we go. This is the first time I'm seeing seeing what's in the box. All right, and it looks like it looks like everything came safely all right so far all right so let's start just taking stuff out <laughs> so we've got these kind of packaging um packaging bags here oh here's one here's an interesting one i got a one of them is an, a model but one of them is a model and not a figure it's an airwolf model all right there you go it's an aoshima airwolf model and it, the box is a little damaged unfortunately so it looks like this part got pressed in right here, all right? But it's a model kit. I don't really care about the box all that much, all right? Pretty cool if you guys want to see what's inside of it real quick. I don't I don't know when I'm going to be building this. Yeah, it's a legit model kit. Pretty nice. Airwolf is my favorite helicopter, man. <laughs> so I grew up watching. Okay, there's one. All right. Little damage on this corner right there, all right? All right, we got pop-up parade here all right this one doesn't have any kind of kind of paper around it or anything but it looks like it came undamaged yeah it's kind of weird the corners are missing they're like uh they cut the corners so they're not pointy <laughs> that's interesting um hey there's just a pop-up parade of union from konosuba from konosuba all right there she is it looks like she got to me in excellent shape all right like if I was gonna resell this figure, I could get my full money for it. <laughs> so, because there's no damage to it, all right. And these boxes scratch real easy. All right, there's one. There's another one. All right, this one was right at the corner. This is Cinnamon from Nekopara. All right, pop up parade. It looks like it came in good shape, no damage. All right, yeah, no damage. Yeah, these boxes scratch so easily. Okay, we got another pop-up parade. This time it's in a wrapping. I don't know how they decide which one's wrap or not wrap. You know, everything else is wrapped. Um, this is a... Uh, can't see it. Doesn't look like it's damaged. Should I take it out? Well, it doesn't look like it's damaged. This is Kikio from uh, Inuyasha. All right, it's a pop-up parade. Box looks undamaged. Yep, very good. Yeah, Hayes Mega bought a bunch of so the, so what Hayes Mega did is I bought a bunch of inexpensive figures and I shipped a lot of them. All right. Um, I wouldn't put an expensive figure in here is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. Here's another pop up parade. All right. This is a uh, this is Nana from uh, Toraburu. Okay. I've had these made start starting a Toraburu swimsuit figure collection, all right? I don't have too many Toraburu co collect collection. All right, this one doesn't look like it's damaged. There's a little hair in here. It's kind of weird. Somebody's hair from Japan. Okay. okay. Doesn't look damaged. All right, I'm not going to take it out of the bubble wrap. All right, there's a, we got a big one here. Wow, man, this is the biggest pop-up parade I've ever seen. This is um, Seshomaro. This is Seshomaro from Inuyasha, okay? 
and the box does not look damaged all right this looks like it's kind of wrinkled up there but box not damaged yeah. okay so yeah when, when these boxes get damaged they they retain the damage is what i want to say so you'll know <laughs> All right, wow, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, and this is uh, this is Momo, all right, from Traburu. Pop-up parade, another pop-up parade. Yeah, so it's, um, I think all of this this whole this whole box is pop-up parade. Okay, looks good. The the sad thing is uh, these pop-up parade figures most most of them are available in the United States right now. <laughs> so so it's like I could have waited, you know. I could have waited like a couple months and then I could have just ordered it in the United States, all right? Um, but yeah, here's another one. This is a Mikan, all right? Pop-up parade. Doesn't look like it's damaged. Does this just come out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not damaged. Looks good. She's in there with the school swimsuit. <laughs> Okay, another pop-up parade. Maple, all right. Maple from uh, Nekopara, all right. So these are Nekopara and Toraburu and and Yasha, Yasha Hime or Inuyasha. <laughs> all right, this one does not look like it's damaged in any way. Looks good. Okay, Maple, Maple's in there. She's you can just kind of see her. <laughs> I will be making figure show and tells of these at some point. All right. And here we go. This is uh, Lala. All right. This is Lala from Turabudu swimsuit figure. I'll take this off. Let's see if I can take it off. She's my favorite one, by the way. Yeah, it's very hard to get it off. I think you got to cut the. Let's see if I can take one off. So this one was at the very corner. This one is likely to be damaged. Oh yeah, this one is damaged. See. Yeah, this one is damaged on the corner here, ever so slightly. It like cracked or something. That's kind of weird. That doesn't look normal. I don't know, because you would think it would, if something hit it, it would just just crump, crumple, you know? Um, so yeah, maybe I should take them, take them all out. I think. But yeah, there it is. There's Lala from Turabru. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna take them all out of the packages. <laughs> I wanted to keep them in the bubble wrap, but I wanted to keep them in the bubble wrap, but um, I t I'll take them out. They might be damaged inside. All right, so yeah, we got one damaged. So it, really, it's the corners that you're looking for. Those are the ones most likely to get damaged. But the maple looks good. Oh, she looks pretty. Okay. Momo. Not damage. Okay. Nana. Man, some of these. I don't know. Really, you gotta just take it apart, man. Okay, there's the Nana. Perfect shape. All right. Sometimes what I'll see, I think I think Hobby Link Japan does this too. They'll put like a toilet paper around it, all right, to keep it from getting scratched. I think that's a good idea, especially this. This this could still scratch this plastic stuff. I think the toilet paper is a little softer on it. So I say, all right. It's that kind of like that white kind of paper, that really light. I call it toilet paper because that's what it looks like. All right. This is a Kikio. This one came out nicely. Okay, looks good. No damages. So we had one damage. Well, two damage, all right. Very light damage, though. I will go over that again. Coyotes.
Okay, there's Yuki Mikan. All right. Looks undamaged. Good. Okay, and here is the Seshomaru. I think this one was in the very center. I doubt this one is damaged. Man, this one is so heavy. I didn't want to take these out of the thing because I don't want to get dusty. But there you go. No damage. All right, maybe there's a little, some sticky stuff there. The box looks pretty good shape. All right, there it is, Shumaro. Pretty cool. Kind of makes me want to get to Inuyasha now. <laughs> okay, two damages, all right, out of all these figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, three. Ten figures, all right? I had ten figures shipped, and two um, two out of the ten are slight, very light damage right here, okay? Which is not bad at all, okay? I don't even, I don't know. Maybe that was already like that, you know, when they put it in the box. That's what I'm thinking. But that's nothing Hades Mega is going to gripe about, all right? Okay. So that that's damage. And then the Airwolf model was a little bit crunched in. Alright. Okay. It's the airwolf model. The only the only non figure got kinda of damaged box, okay. But just to, this right here was pressed in, alright? And I think it's because it was a this was at one of the corners, alright? So as you can see the um that was the packaging for uh Hobby Link Japan. They really just they tetris the box. <laughs> they seriously they tetris the box, alright? So all they did was they put in my opinion i think uh solaris packed it better right because solaris there should be like a void around the packages all right <laughs> from the there should be a void between the figures and the packages all right uh, the the box all right there should be a little void there so just in case it does get pushed in um it's got some it's got a cushion all right the, there was like no cushion almost there was a little there was this these guys all right there's these guys on the corner right here all right so that helped protect it. And other than that, everything was in there Tetris, like perfect. <laughs> like they tetris it, man. And um, and so that's not good. If the box gets damaged, if the box gets damaged in any way, if like it becomes deformed, then the figures are gonna get deformed for, for sure. All right, the, the figures are gonna get damaged in, in the boxes, all right? For, well, the boxes for the figures will get damaged. So in my opinion, Solaris probably did a better be job packing, but like I, I don't know, um, that's what you got. That's what Hobby Link Japan had to work with. In my opinion, they should have had a more cushion around the box, all right? Uh, but other than that, I mean, the box came to me relatively unharmed, so Hayes Mega lucked out. <laughs> so we'll say, all right, I lucked out this time, all right? So um, Hobby Link Japan did actually didn't ship it, uh, didn't package it very well, all right? But um, yeah, Hobby Link Japan didn't package it very well, but it the box was undamaged when it got here, so Hades Mega got lucky. <laughs> okay, but but yeah, so that just goes to show. I just, I just wanted to make a video about this that sometimes you know the cheap, the economical shipping, yeah, the one that takes a long time, um, sometimes it doesn't come to you damaged. <laughs> okay, so. All right, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, and um, I will have uh, figure show and tells for all these figures in the in the distant future. Is what I want to say. <laughs> all right, here's big out. By the way, this is the toilet paper I was talking about. All right, so some some uh, online stores will will put will wrap it in this toilet paper, and I I feel that if you're if it's going to be in like a pop up parade box, those those clear kind of plastic boxes, it's better to have it. Um, with this because this won't scratch it as much <laughs> as the, the plastic will actually scratch it the the bubble wrap stuff All right. this is a i got this i can't remember where i got this from <laughs> honestly